everybody, this is Janeth from Puriqua Sewing Crafts. This video, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how I create the designs for my hats, okay? Sometimes what happens is, you know, you get um, someone that will approach you and they'll say, hey, I want you to embroider my um, baseball hat. And, you know, there's sometimes, you know, a lot of designs out there and you want to make sure that you know you get to use those designs and put them on baseball hats so what i want to do is i want to show you what i do in order to create the designs that i make on the baseball hat okay this was a girlfriend of mine that she wanted a golf hat and um you know i went and i bought a golf image and what i did was i had to resize it and everything to put it on the baseball hat so i want to show you how i do that okay so um of course um, as you guys know, I like to use um, in Brilliance, um, and I have the software up here, and I have it opened, and let me lower the thing, I'm going to open this up, oops, sorry, okay, let me open it back up, hit the wrong thing, here you go, let me make it expand it, make it big, okay, awesome, all right, we are here. And in brilliance. Now, one of the things that you want to make sure is that what you have is the hat hoop on your uh, machine. Okay. The way I do that is you go under in brilliance and you hit preferences. And when you hit preferences right under environment, you have the hoops. And this is where you get to select all the different types of hoop sizes. So here you can select. Um, right here, if you scroll down on the list, you'll see that there's two options. There's one that says 130 millimeters by 60, and then another one that says 130 by 50. Now, one thing that I noticed is I'm gonna, right here I highlighted the 130 by um, 60, and I'm going to go in a little bit so that you can see what I'm looking at. Um, as you can see at the bottom over here, it says it's a five by, five by two which is five inches by two inches, okay? When I go and I click on the one below it, which is 130 by 50, it says the same thing. So I believe it's supposed to be a little smaller, but for some reason, it just doesn't say it in Brilliance. But I always, what I do, me personally, um, what Jeanette does is she always picks the 130 by the 60. So I'm gonna highlight this, I'm gonna hit apply, and I'm gonna hit okay, and right now, um, as you can see, now I have the area where, you know, this is to put embroidery for hats, okay? Now, I went and I purchased my designs. Now, when I get the designs, I sometimes try to get the smallest design as possible when I'm thinking about I'm going to embroider on a, on a hat, okay? Uh, my girlfriend reached out and said she wanted the golf man. So I went and I was able to find that design. And I'm going to open up my designs here. And I know I have it here somewhere in downloads. Just give me a minute and I'll find it. Here you go, golfer. Um, I'm going to click on golfer. I'm going to pick, pick the PS. And then right here, I have the three different sizes. Um, you know, when I purchased this, I got the three by three, the four by four, um, five by five, and the six by six. I'm going to select the three by three, which is the smallest, because I wanted to be able to fit it in this hoop that I have, which is a five by two. So double click. Here it is. Now, as you can see, the golfer is clearly bigger than the hoop that I have. So what I do in this situation is I click on the image, which then pops up this square. Then I just take the image on one of these ends. And as you can see, my cursor kind of turns into like an arrow, okay? And then I just make the image smaller. And then I just adjust it in the hoop. There you go. Now, when I am readjusting my hoops, I don't do like this. Like, you know how you can have it like so super close to the edge of the hoop. I don't do that. And the reason why I do that is because sometimes I just don't want any like mess ups. And I'm always afraid that maybe the calculations can be a little off or something. So I 
me personally, what I always do as a rule of thumb is I always try to make it just a little bit smaller. So that way um, I have at least some space, you know, between the top and the bottom of the design. So right there is, this is my design. I have it, it's perfect, and this would fit on my hat. This is how I did this, okay? Then what I did was, um, as I said in my other video, every time I do embroidery, I always do, um, I always save this as a working and a stitch file. Um, in this situation, there's really nothing that I would customize, I'm gonna be honest. There's, you know, I'm not putting a name, I'm not doing anything. If I was to ever reuse this file, it would be reused as is. So in this situation, I would just save it um, under, if I go in here, go file, I would just say um, file stitch as, well, hold on, sorry. There should be a file, just save it. Here you go save the um, stitch file right here. It says um, save stitch file, save stitch file as. So right here, I would just do that and I would just sell it as, I mean sell it, I would save it as a PES file and then I would just name that as hat golfer or something like that and put it on my USB drive, take it over to my SC1900, um, hoop my hat in my hat hoop and then just stitch it out. So, you know, just wanted to show you guys real quickly how I, um, how I create my designs for me to put on, um, baseball hats. Okay. Um, you know, and, and you know what, um, I'll show you real quick. I'll do it again so I can show you real quick how to do it. Um, let's do a new page. Okay. And I'll pick another design. I see that this expanded. Let me just shrink it here a little bit so you can see. Um, you can do this with a lot of designs. Like, let's say you have a, a little girl or something, and um, I have, let me see, I have like a deer. Here you go, I have a deer. Um, I'm going to pick that. Ooh, I don't like the colors of that. I'm gonna, let me delete that. Let's pick another one, okay? <laughs> I didn't like the way that came out. You know, I don't want to mess around with the colors and all that stuff. Let me see, I have... Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, let me see, I bought this file. Hold on, I'll, I'll pick something quick. Let me pick something quick. Pick something quick. Um, man, you know when you're trying to pick something quick, you just never get something to pick quick. Okay, let's, uh, okay, let me try the deer again. All right, I know I picked that one. Let me just pick one of these. Okay, um, two. there you go. Picking this, there you go. See, here I have a deer, okay? Let's say that I want to do a baseball hat, you know, a real cute hat like this for a little girl. I would just take this design and I would just make this as small as possible so that I can fit it in this hoop. There you go. And voila, there you go. This is small enough so that it would fit in my on the baseball hat. And then you can go ahead and then you can make this for a little girl. And then what's really cute too is when, you know, if you were to make a baseball hat like this, something like that on here, um, kids sometimes like having their names on the back of the hat. Okay, this is a hat that I messed up um, on a girlfriend. Sometimes they like to have them on the side of the hat or something like that that you can broader the name um, so anyway I just wanted to give you guys a, a quick video on how you can you know um, set up designs so that you can save it and take it over to your SC 1900 and you can embroider it on a baseball hat okay so hope you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you have it um, I do happy hour embroidery Fridays every Friday at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time um, and please join our Facebook, which is Happy Hour Adventures. So hope you guys have a good time and happy sewing and embroidery. Bye.